My name is Arthur Hart. I live in University City, Missouri, a suburb of St. Louis, and I create cartoons about how people relate to each other. This topic has fascinated me for many years, and I wrote some uh, papers for scientific journals about this, actually. Uh, they were published, but nobody ever read them. Then I realized that these, uh, that some of the ideas I had were inherently funny, and I decided to put them into cartoons. I was a professor in medical schools. I analyzed statistical information to find the causes of diseases and how doctors could improve the way that they practice medicine. I, I've used some of this background in the book, uh, some of it very critical about the practice of medicine, not because I'm critical of doctors, but I am critical about the structure and the uh, culture of medicine. But most of my cartoons are more about interpersonal relationships, not about medicine. My cartoons are basically about what makes life hard. And when I say this, you can think of Charlie Brown as an adult. In honor of Charlie Brown, I could have called my book uh, Big Guy, uh, sort of the opposite of Peanuts, and also because I'm very tall. Uh, instead, I call it The Slings and Arrows of Mundane Fortune. This title may sound familiar to you, uh, no doubt because my book is so famous, but um, also Shakespeare did create something very similar. Um, he, he called the big problems that make people want to kill themselves the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. My mundane slings and arrows are problems with self-esteem and relating to others, uh, and not problems that make you want to kill yourself. I, I, I put these uh, relationships into five categories, lovers, spouses, children, colleagues, and friends. The, the first cartoon shows unrequited love. Here's a, a girl who, who knows this boy would uh, love her if he really took the time to understand what was, uh, what was inside her. Instead, he only loves exciting, beautiful people, just like she does. And so uh, it's funny that, that, I think it's funny that uh, she has one standard for herself and another standard for everybody else. The next cartoon is based on a, a famous statue called The Thinker. You've probably seen uh, some pictures of this. This, this guy uh, in this cartoon is thinking about a very profound problem uh, related to his marriage. And he's thinking about it in a uh, place that people do a lot of thinking. Sometimes it's not always clear to children uh, what their parents want from them. And this cartoon clarifies that. I found that by just paying attention to what parents talk about when they talk about their children. I decide this must be the most important things to them. And it's up to the children to live up to their expectations. Uh, work is a good place to see almost any kind of, of um, problems in personal relationships. It's sort of a zoo for personal relationships. Uh, there are problems from, uh, that you see in uh, other aspects of life and some problems that, that you see only at work. This particular cartoon shows what Jack Welsh, a former CEO of General Electric, calls piling on. In piling on, uh, someone at, at, attacks a low status person and then everybody else in the group uh, uh, joins in. It's, uh, I, I, I say that it's a, it's, it's a work-specific problem, but it's also pretty common among uh, second-grade girls. A lot of problems that are seen in the workplace are pretty common among second-grade girls. The next cartoon is, uh, shows people at a party. Parties are, are supposed to be for fun and relaxation, but there's another part of parties that are not discuss so much, and that is the, the judgment part. So everybody's going around in a party trying to maximize their own impressiveness score and give the, everybody else at the party their uh, impressiveness score. And uh, if you pay attention to that, it's, uh, it may be less fun. I'm really special as a, as a cartoonist because I have the drawing ability of an arthritic elephant. Uh, you may think this is a handicap, 
But for me, it was, it was wonderful. It pushed me to find talented, interesting people all over the world who could help me. I've worked with um, artists in Iowa, Salt Lake City, poor countries in Latin America, and most recently, Serbia. Uh, when I work with the artists in Latin America, I do it in Spanish because I like Spanish. Uh, fortunately for my artists, though, it's, it's Google enhanced Spanish. My, if I just spoke Spanish on my own, it, it wouldn't be adequate. When I'm working with a cartoonist, I, I try to describe what I want as specifically as I can. But I, I can't create the final image in my head. And so it's always a thrill for me to see what they come up with. My idea for this book was to show the struggles of people in a modern society and to compare that to the struggles of the soldiers in World War II. A great cartoon book about those struggles was written by Bill Malden. Turns out that he uh, worked in St. Louis for a long time and has a star on the Del Mar Walk of Fame just a few blocks from my house. I don't create cartoons for belly laughs. Of course, I love it when that happens, but my goal is to show slices of relationships that are interesting or amusing and not the usual cliches. I would love it if some of you would, would buy the cartoon book. What's even more important to me, though, is to get your feedback on the cartoons. And I've uh, set up a uh, web account, Facebook page, and, and Twitter account so that you, you can give me your feedback about which cartoons resonate in your own life and remind you of something important.